Sunrise with Jesus, a daily devotion series, Monday through Friday. 24-hour protection. Psalms 33, 16 to 19. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. I love reading about how God takes care of his children. Do you remember the time that God convinced Pharaoh to let his people, the Israelites, free? First of all, it was unheard of for a king to set his slaves free at the command of the slaves. God, this was especially strange for the king of Egypt, the largest and greatest and most powerful country in the world at that time. The slaves were the workforce and the machinery of this great empire. But God sent those ten plagues to convince Pharaoh he had no choice but to give in. But even after that, when Pharaoh changed his mind and started to chase the Israelites, God showed up again in his power, making himself into a pillar of fire that stopped them from getting too close and giving the Israelites time to cross the gigantic Red Sea that he just parted. If the Israelites were to consider their freedom, they would have to compare the odds of bricklaying slaves fighting for their freedom against Egypt, the most powerful army in the world. If we looked at that situation from the natural eyes, it would seem that there was no possible way for the Israelites to be saved. But as David points out in Psalms 33, weapons and armies aren't what determine safety and victory for God's people. The eye of God is always upon those that fear him. He sees all that threatens us. If we walk in the fear of God, then we would be able to take comfort in the fact that he is in control. God is able to protect and provide for his people in the midst of harsh situations and hardness, economic prosperity or decline. So the challenge for you today is, do you trust God to protect you? Do you trust God with your life?